Hello all and welcome to another Caffeine Entertainment video. It's Art here with a book review for The White Lioness by Henny Minkle. It's book number three in the Kurt Vollander series. Uh, it is also the first book that I completely finished for uh, March Mystery of Endless 2022. Loving that. And finished plenty, plenty more. Um, and going to finish plenty more, I should say. Uh, have finished one more since the time of reading that one. L let me get into the book. The book is a great continuation to the Kurt Vollander series. It picks up close to where and references the previous books, which is always something I like. I like books that go in an order that can be discerned. It is... And it's, it makes it important that you read from book one all the way through. So that's why I like that. I like Kurt Vollander's grittiness. I like his real lifeness. I like the fact that Henning Minkel has a darker side to his detective. Because um, you see, you see Vollander's um, problems, his human problems, his relationship with his, with his daughter his um, alcoholism, and just things are dark because he's a dog with a bone. Yes, there are other dog with a bone detectives like Harry Bosch and uh, Walt Longmire, but n none take it more real and take it more um, serious than, than the Kurt Volander series. And this is shown through in this book in many, many ways. There's a point where uh, Kurt goes and sees his daughter and you see the rough edges of their relationship. You see the fact that he is so knee-deep and got his head buried in a case so much that the world around him kind of goes away. His responsibilities to the world around him go away at his own detriment and that's key because that makes Kurt Vollander more of a realistic character because that's what would happen to a real person that is what sets Henning Minkel's writing apart from a Harry Bosch apart from a Craig Johnson or a Jeffrey Deaver it's because he never lets that real worldness go away. And in The White Lioness, not only is the case front and center, but the real worldness is front and center. So that's very, very, very important. It makes for a gripping read. It makes for, for a page turner. It makes for an edge of your seat thrill ride once the book gets going. Its only drawback, in my opinion, and why it took me so long to finish it, was because it is a longer book. It is a slow starter, which makes it a longer book. It's about 400 pages, which for a mystery is a longer book. But it is still worth every minute and every point of time. Uh, it goes without saying that the prerequisite for reading this book is reading the three previous books. Or the two previous books, sorry. This is book three. So reading the two previous books. So, the uh, which is um, The Faceless, Kill Faceless Killers and The Dogs of Riga. So it is very important to read these two books and then go on to this book. Because like I said... Henning Minkel does build Kurt Vollander and things that cropped up in book one crop up in book two and so on and so forth. It's a very, very intricate and intense series. If you want something intricate and intense with a good mystery and a dog with a bone detective that has real world consequences to his attitude towards his job, makes him really good at his job, maybe the best at his job. But it does not, it, it does not come without consequences to him, both physically and emotionally, which makes Kurt Bollinger, I think, 
the most well-rounded fictional detective there may be. So, with that said, what do I give it? Well, on my scale, it's a read it, own it, love it. And on the Goodreads scale, because of its so slow start, it is a 4 out of 5. Still a great book, but not a perfect book because it does take a bit to get into. And the fact that you do have to read the other two books as a prerequisite is a comportionate problem. It is a problem for the... Because uh, you can't just pick up one book here, one book here, one book there. It is best to read the Henning Mankel, uh, Kurt Wallander novels succinctly. One right after the other if you can do it. Or at least read them in the order that they were published so that you get the full story and you get the full jigsaw puzzle that is Kurt Wallander. So leave in the comments down below if you've read any Henning Mankel and how your March Mystery Madness is going. But this is where I say, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more, please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy reading. The game's still afoot because we're still in March. I'll see you again soon. And peace.